In this video, I will show you the updated Meaningful Use dashboard. To access the dashboard, go to Reports, Meaningful Use Dashboard. The dashboard has been updated to allow you to run statistics on either Stage 1 or Stage 2. After selecting your provider, you can then select the Stage dropdown. You will see three options. Stage 1 2011 should be used for any providers attesting to Stage 1 prior to 2014. Stage 1 2014 should be used for providers attesting to Stage 1 in 2014 or beyond. Stage 2 2014 should be used for providers attesting to Stage 2 in 2014 or beyond. If you had previously saved defaults for providers in a version prior to 5.1 using the Save Selections for Provider button, you will still have the ability to access those defaults. They are now located in the box to the right under Configurations. In order to load those preset configurations, highlight the appropriate provider and click Select. You will then see the defaults load at the bottom of the screen. If you make any changes and would like to save those new changes, you will click Save. If you would like to make changes and save it as a new entry, you can click Save As and it will prompt you to name it. If you are viewing defaults for a provider and would like to change the screen that you're seeing, you can click Clear and it will clear out the configurations you're viewing. If you decide that you no longer need one of these configurations, you can highlight it and click Delete. If you click Meaningful Use Requirements, you will receive a dialog outlining the high-level overview of the Meaningful Use Requirements for both Stage 1 and Stage 2. If you would like to calculate your statistics, but you do not have a preset configuration, you would first select your provider, then your stage, and then the reporting period. Then you will want to select the measures that you want to view. To do so, click on the plus next to the appropriate item to open up that tree. If you would like all the measures in a particular section, you can click the checkbox next to that section and it will automatically select all of the measures underneath. At this point, if you wanted to remove one of the measures, you could uncheck that measure. Once you're done selecting the measures, you would want to click Calculate Results. If you would like to start over, you can click Clear Selections and it will clear the screen. If you need to report your CQM data electronically, which is a change for 2014, first you will need to select the appropriate measures. Notice the list of CQMs that you will see is now organized by NQS domains instead of by system. You are required to pick measures that cover at least three of the six domains. The list of CQMs that you see here are the only 16 CQMs that Chartmaker Clinical is certified for at the moment. You must select your CQMs from the list. We will be certified for more CQMs in the near future. After you select the appropriate measures, click Calculate Results. Then to produce your electronic file, click CQM Reporting. You will receive a dialog requesting you to select the category. The default is Category 3, which is what you will use during attestation. Category 1 is used for vendor testing or during an audit. Click OK, and you will then be prompted to select a location to save the file to. Select a location that is easy for you to remember, such as your desktop. And when you're done, you can click Save. and OK. The file will then be sent to the location that you specified in XML format. This means that it is not human readable, so do not expect to be able to decipher the information within that file. 
During attestation, you will upload this file through the CMS website or whatever location CMS has defined at that point. One last update I would like to mention about the dashboard is the new option when generating the reconciliation report. You now have an option to see the patients that were excluded from your CQM statistics. An exclusion or an exception is a patient that is neither in the denominator or numerator because they did not completely fulfill the CQM requirement. A such example would be a pregnant woman with gestational diabetes. While she may meet the measure requirements for NQF18, she would be excluded since she will have a pregnancy-related diagnosis on her chart. This report will most likely only need to be generated during an audit type of situation. To generate the report, you would check the box next to Denominator Exclusions and Exceptions, and then click Generate Reconciliation Report.